Hey everybody, this is Shad Sullivan coming to you from the headwaters of Bitter Creek, Archer County, North Texas. We have to talk. State officials will be assisting to help identify potential alternative markets if a producer is unable to move animals and if necessary, advise and assist on depopulation and disposal methods. Ladies and gentlemen, we are plowing under vegetable crops from coast to coast. We are euthanizing millions of chickens. We are aborting sows and burying feeder pigs. We are dumping milk by the hundreds of thousands of gallons and now they are preparing us to depopulate the fat cattle ready to harvest because of a bottleneck created by the effects of COVID. This thing hasn't been created by COVID, but the effects of COVID and the logistics therein. We are in trouble. Our food supply is in trouble. And I am appealing to producers and consumers across the nation to start calling. Yesterday, the first shipment of imported beef from the country of Namibia hit the shores of the United States of America. And yet this morning, they are telling us to prepare to euthanize harvest-ready cattle. Am I the only one that sees a problem in this? It is time we get the American people back to work. It is time we get money flowing. It is time we get food on the shelves. Because if you're not concerned about this food supply problem, you better be. We have a huge supply and demand of food across this nation. We can feed the world ourselves and yet we're destroying our harvests. At the same time, we are importing beef from other countries, beef that is less regulated than our beef, less safe, not as high quality of product, and yet it's happening. At the same time, they are preparing for us to euthanize our harvests. Does that make sense to America? For the last 10 years, we have been uh, pressed to be sustainable. I've said all along sustainability is a fraud. And right now, we're being forced to destroy our harvests. That doesn't sound like sustainability to me. But it is part of the overall goal to vertically integrate your food system. You see, they cannot have control of the people unless they have control of the food, the water, the land, production. It is time we get back to work. It is time uh, the American people force uh, the government to listen to us. We are of, by, and for the people. This is not Nancy Pelosi's country. This is not Donald Trump's country. This is your country, and you're going to go hungry. We must get regional and local packing houses up and going. Do we have to have those big, big packing plants? You bet we do, and they need to be running right now. We need help. You as a consumer are in trouble. My dad told me years ago the best thing that would happen to America is if everybody had to sit in the dark, cold, and hungry, and that would wake them up. Well, I think it's coming. We're in a dangerous position, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get inspectors into these small plants. We need to get better inspectors. We need to get going on this today, not tomorrow, today. You need to be calling your legislators. We need to be opening up the country. Your food supply is in danger. Ranchers are going broke every day. We're doing all we can to stay here. We are in crisis in America. This is a crisis. This is a national crisis. And everybody's just sitting back enjoying their time off, enjoying that $1,200 not knowing that overnight you're going to go hungry. It's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, we need your help. 
We need your help today. Everybody, all hands on deck. It's time. We need you to go to USA uh, DemandUSABeef.com. Sign the petition for country of origin labeling. People want to know where their food comes from. I don't want any beef out of Namibia. I don't want any beef out of Brazil. I want my own beef. I'm blessed to be able to eat my own beef. But a lot of you aren't. And you need the freedom to choose your product. Demand mandatory country of origin labeling. Demand that these people get back to work. Where have our patriots gone? Where are you? I ask you that today. This thing's going to be incredibly tough overnight. It's already tough. You think the shelves were empty two weeks ago. You just wait. We have a bottleneck in this processing facility and the logistics in this uh, transportation system of our food supply. You think we're not in trouble? We are. I'm sorry. My tone is so bad. I'm so upset. But we have got to get this going today, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate your support. Producers, start reaching out to consumers. Forget these associations. Forget all of the the corrupt bull crap that's been going on. We got to put a stop to it too. It's time. My apologies for my tone. I'm worried about my country. Try to make it a good day, you guys.